by, everyone. Standing by. Stand by for a theme song! Jelly 
Sometimes you get to go early so that there are fewer people, but I don't know about this business with Dolores saying that she's president of Gnome Home. I guess we're going to have to have some more discussions about that, you know, inmates run the asylum and all. I don't know what happened, but it's kind of a dreary day here in Boston. I hope maybe it's nicer where you are on one of these last days of the summer time. So. Well, hi, Trish. Hi, Jilly. How are hi, you? Hi, everyone. It's so nice to see you. You too. Yeah. Gosh, I didn't know that Dolores was in charge of our house. I didn't either. <laughs> I don't remember voting for her. No. No? No. <laughs> Maybe we should have an election here. That's a really great idea. You think? Yeah. Okay. Uh, before we get to that, though, uh, I thought we could sing a little song about voting in America. Okay. I bet you know this song. <laughs> Maybe. I hope so. Yeah. And I think you know this song. It's called My Country, Tis of Thee. And fun fact, the tune is actually the British National Anthem. Oh, is that funny? Okay. Ours just has different words. Okay. Uh, so we'll sing it once with the America words, mm -hmm. and then we'll sing it a few more times with new words about voting. What do they call the British one? Oh, it's God Save the Queen. Okay, well, we don't have a queen, so I, I mean... Not now. No, no. Who knows? Maybe later. <laughs> All right. Queen Dolores. Queen, oh, I, oh boy. Don't give her any ideas. Ha! You ready? Okay. Ready. My country, tis of the sweet land of liberty, of the I sing. Land where my fathers died, land of the pilgrim's pride, from every mountain side, let freedom ring. Okay, now we all remember how it goes, right? I do. Yeah. Okay, We're good. so here come the new words. All right, ready? Ready! Let's talk about voting. It's an important thing. Democracy. That's when we all decide who makes our laws and rights local and nationwide. That's what voting brings. There's more. Okay. Right. <clears throat> our Constitution says who gets to vote and when let me explain it's the law of the land but with amendments we can make changes to the plan which can be a pain no really <laughs> it can be it really can be can it let's talk about that for a second. Sure. So, in 1789, only white men could vote. Huh. Yeah. Then, in 1870, 81 years later, the 15th Amendment said black men could vote, but only some of them. Huh. Crazy, right? Yeah, it's all weird. Then, in 1920, 100 years ago last month, the 19th Amendment said women could vote, but mostly white women. Mm -hmm. And it wasn't until 1948 that Native Americans could vote in every state. Mm. Can you believe that? It was not that long ago. Yeah, and not till not, uh, 1965, 
55 years ago that the Voting Rights Act was passed saying every grown-up American citizen could vote. So we have one more verse. Okay, so it brings us up. You, you took us all the way through today. Till today! Okay. Yeah. Folks fought for voting rights, marching both day and night. Some even died. When you're 18 years old, you'll be able to vote. That's an important role, so vote every time. Woo! Good job. Thanks, Trish. Well, thanks for sharing that with everyone. Let's see who wants to run against Dolores for president. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Bye, everyone. Okay. Bye. Jelly Bean, everyone. Jelly Bean. And I'll be right there. informative and long. <laughs> so, what are we reading this week? Anything about elections or voting? Mm -hmm. Well, I'm reading a book called Lillian's Right to Vote, a celebration of the Voting Rights Act of 1965. Yeah, it's by Jonah Winter, illustrated by Shane Evans. Yeah, this book is about a lady named Lillian. She is 100 years old. Wow, and she is going to vote. To get there, she has to walk up a big, steep hill. And on the way, she thinks about the history of her family. Her great-grandparents were slaves, so they could not vote. No, uh, her great-grandpa couldn't vote until 1870 after the 15th Amendment, which Jilly just talked about. Uh, and Lillian thinks about how her mommy couldn't vote even though the 19th Amendment had passed. She thinks about her own life and voting discrimination and protest marches. Yeah, she remembers the Voting Rights Act. Jilly talked about that too. And guess what? Spoiler alert! She finally gets to the top of that hill and she votes. Wow. So this is a great book about the history and the importance of voting. And the pictures are really good too. Yeah, so check out Lillian's Right to Vote. Now let's welcome back Cranston. Uh, oh, and we say hi to Sylvia, who's joined us. Hi, Sylvia. Okay, be right back with Cranston. Cranston! Come on, Cranston! All right, all right, all right. Jeez. How you doing? I'm Cranston, and I'm here to announce that I am running for president of this house, Gnome Home. What? That's right, Dolores. None of us remember voting for you, so we figure it's time for a proper election. 
I even want my tie. So what do you think? You is with me? Yeah? So uh, here's my platform. Uh, as president of Gnome Home, I will make sure everybody gets a say about what Trish buys at the grocery store. Yeah. Uh, and I will fight hard for pizza chips and regular chips to be on that list. Yeah. Also, I will have house meetings where we can air our concerns and divvy up the chores and decide which TV shows we want to watch. Because Dolores hardly ever does chores and she always makes us watch the same movies over and over and over. So I'll put a stop to that. We should all share the load, you know, and watch new things. So to the residents of Gnome Home, I ask you to vote for me. Vote for Cranston. Thank you. I've got some stuff to say, hold on. Mainly, et tu brute? Ha, huh, sheesh. I had no idea people were so unhappy around here. So that's fine. Let's have an election. And I will also run for president of Gnome Home officially. Yeah, I figured she would. I'll knock it off. Uh, so as president, here are my promises. There will be no bedtimes. People can stay up as late as they want, as long as they still do the stuff they're supposed to do. Your sleep is your own business. Yeah. Uh, and uh, let's see. There will be ice cream for dessert every night. Yeah, and I think Trish and the stagehand should have to do all the chores. Hey! Well, I mean, they have the longest arms and legs, and, oh no, I lost my sticker, uh, they both know how to drive, so it just makes sense. I would also like to say that I have been your leader for a long time already, even if you didn't know it, and I think I've been doing a very good job. So vote for me, Dolores Parker, and I will keep doing a very good job, and I will do those other things I said. Thanks in advance for your vote. I'll be right there. Hold on just a second. Well, hello there. Hello, frankly. Eh, hello. This is certainly a curious turn of events, is it not? Meh, I guess. I don't know if I'll bother voting. But, my dear friend, 
Don't you want to have a say in what happens around here? Not really. Nah. Well, which of the candidates' promises do you like best? Well, um, I like some stuff each of them said, and I didn't like some stuff each of them said. So, what difference does it make if I vote? I mean, it probably won't affect me much anyway. My dear Frankly, every vote counts. Remember that, children. And if this election doesn't matter to you, I bet it matters a whole lot to some others who live here. Maybe you should chat with them uh, to see what they think. Ah, uh, all right. I guess I can do that. And you promise you'll vote. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay. I promise. Good. Now, do hurry. Uh, voting time is very soon. It's a secret ballot. So we'll all cast our votes in the privacy of the restroom. Gross! Uh, not like that. And uh, for people at home, please cast your votes in the comments. If there's a tie, you will decide the winner. Uh, and we want to say hello uh, to Amy and uh, Jesse and uh, Jesse's family. So thank you for watching and please vote uh, with your conscience. Let's go, frankly. will be right there. All right, uh, so we do have some uh, Facebook votes coming in. Uh, it's pretty close here, so if, you, if you'd like to vote for your chosen candidate, please do it now, here. Uh, Their votes aren't binding though, right? Since they don't live here. They may be taken into consideration in the case of a tie. Okay. Okay, so, and then once our candidates come back, uh, we'll, we'll tally the votes. Okay. Okay. Uh, here we go. <coughs> Amy, Amy Williams says there's too much pressure. There's no pressure. It's all good. So. How you doing? Hi! Hello, Cranston. Hey, Dolores. <laughs> I wish you the best of luck. Oh, yeah. Okay. You too. See, so you can run against each other, but still be friends. Oh, yeah. You're yeah. still friends. Yeah. So I, I have the votes in this box. You do? Yeah. Are you ready to count them? Uh, I yeah. can't wait to find out who voted for me. I, well, you're not going to find out who voted for you. You're just going to know that you got a vote, because that's how voting works. You don't, uh, you don't have to, you don't find out. Did you guys know this? <laughs> I didn't know this. Oh, well, there you go. Um, Get out of it already! So, <sighs> let's see here. Okay. Uh, I have a Dolores. Yay! Thank you! I have a Cranston. Woohoo! That's right! Oh, my goodness. I have a Cranston. Okay. I have... Lala! I have a Hans. Hans! We got a write in ballot. I there. voted for Hans! I bet you Hans. I didn't know you could do that. You can. If somebody's not on the ballot but you want them to be, you can write them in. This is new news! Yeah. Uh, yeah. So we have a Cranston. Yeah! We have another Hans. Another Hans! I don't know about that. I don't this. know about that. Me uh, we, neither. We've got a Cranston. Okay. We have a Shelvis. What is Shelvis? This, this is madness. Well, I like Shelvis. I might have voted for him. But I voted for myself. That's okay, right? Yeah, well, me too. Absolutely. Totally fine. Oh, thank goodness. All right. We've got a Dolores. Yay! We've got another Dolores. Woohoo! We've got another Dolores. Oh, no. 
Uh, so I don't know how to tell you this. So who wins? Well, right now it's it's a tie. What? <laughs> and and there's one there's one ballot left. <laughs> and um, it it said Dolores, but then crossed out and wrote Cranston. What? So I I think maybe the uh, amount of work that was going to be put onto the uh, stage manager and Trish might have just pushed it over the edge to Cranston. So I lost. <laughs> you lost. I lost. Uh... Sorry, Dolores. The people have spoken. This is my show. <laughs> but it can still be your show. If yeah. you're not the president, that's okay. Okay, well. And you know what? You could run again next time there's an election. That's true. Yeah. Well, congratulations, Cranston. Thank you very much. Thank you. Um, I wish you the best of luck with your administration. You know, I got an idea. What if you were my vice president? That's a good oh, idea. Can we do that? the online tally wouldn't have helped the situation because even accounting for third-party votes as Scott has said uh, that was also a tie so I guess it all came down to that tie-breaking vote which is why it's important to vote because you never know who that tiebreaker is gonna be yeah every vote really does count it really does we learned that today yeah you're I right. did you're all right oh yeah okay you know I stand by the election results <laughs> and will uh, commit to a peaceful transfer, transfer of power. Okay. That's how you do it. Right? That, that's how you do it in this country. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so all you grown-ups watching, make sure you're registered to vote. Okay? And kids, bug your parents and grandparents to make sure they're registered. The Deadline to register is October 24th, and the election is November 3rd, okay? Coming up. Uh, and hi to Dory. It's nice to see you watching. Okay. Uh, oh, and quickly, uh, don't forget about Puppet Showplace Theater at www.puppetshowplace.org slash... Emergency dash fund. Okay. Okay. Birthdays. <laughs> Whose birthdays are coming up? Oh, a bunch. Mm -hmm. I know you gotta go soon. Okay. Uh, so Monday was Suzanne's birthday, and Wednesday today is April and Lisa, and Saturday is Aisha, Katie, and Sarah, and Sunday is Crystal and Laura. So that's it. All right, ready? Ready. Um, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to Suzanne and April and Lisa and Aisha and Katie and Sarah and Crystal and Laura. Woo! Happy birthday to all of you. the end of another show. Ah, so that's our show. Yeah. Uh, so don't forget to listen to each other and stand up for each other and be kind to each other and wear your masks and wash those hands. Okay. Shall we do the closing song? You ready? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Join us next week 
the party never ends. This was Asta Lawrence and Brad. You watched Asta.